And I look at, I, I'm the guy that goes in and I rearrange the furniture, which they're like, what the hell was he doing probably when I left? But I see so many mistakes all the time. And the room was beautifully, it could have been beautifully executed, but this was a designer that couldn't control herself or his self. And they did a really pretty patterned rug, um, a carpet wall to wall, and then they did pattern on the wallpaper, and then they did pattern on the window coverings, and then they did pattern on the bedding and the pillows. And it's just like, I don't know which way to look. And I, th I thought to myself, wow, just the rug and like a grass cloth or a color on the wall it would have been great. And then, okay, let's bring pattern back in on the bed. But with it's, it's too much. And I always, I have rules, if it helps you, I have rules of three, which is, you know, three different wood colors. It's okay to mix wood. It's okay to mix dark wood with light wood with medium wood. Just stick to three. And in regards to patterns, stick to three. I walk into people's bathrooms, I can tell they went tile shopping, and they felt the need to use all six tiles they loved. And that's, that's a problem. Like, you have to, you really have to edit and restrain. Especially if you're spending a lot of money, which we do, especially on sofas, beds, paint. I like neutrals, because neutrals are going to get longevity. Bring your color in through other things. Your pillows, your throws, your, your you know plants, your, you know, those kind of things. Shoes. That actually works. That actually works. It's just like one pop of color. I would have rather seen it in a tie than the shoes, 